Yo, what's up guys? Today is June 4th, I believe. I'm gonna do something a little different. We're at Crandon Park Marina, Miami, Florida. And we are gonna do some flats and maybe push a little bit offshore. We'll see what the conditions are like, but if you've been watching the channel, you know I live right on a canal. So I've been 100% fishing canals, but we're rigged up. Kayak's ready to go. Let's get it going. So a couple things about today or this morning. Last night was a full moon. So I imagine our bite is gonna be a little slower than usual. Not only this, the tide change was at like five this morning. So it's not really flowing. The current's not pulling too strong. So, seems like it's gonna be pretty chill. The tide does shift at like 11. It's about 8 a.m. right now. So, let's see what happens. Offshore a little bit. the shore I know there's a drop Let's see if we can find that Nathan let's see if we just throw this guy on the top if anything pops on it Yeah. 
that's the problem with two lines out once you hit one we're in reverse right all right let's keep it in reverse let's get this guy up I'll throw this guy back This is a small jack. Too small for me. So we'll let him go. All right, once we hit the bridge, we got some action. So that's a good sign. Let's go back through, see what happens. Small profile, took the W on that one. We had both the big profile and the small profile out. I think I should set up a popper. a giant school of fish right under us. Let's see if this project works. First, I see life in front of us. Yep, fish on. Fish on. Immediately. Immediately. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Yellow jack. Right on it. Alrighty. Yellow jack, let's see. Open. Additional regulations. No size limit. That's him. It's kind of small though, right? 12 inches. Let's put him back. I have a feeling we'll get on some more. Let's see if we can go a little bigger. Let's go. Nice fish. Let's go. Please be a fat yellow jack. Let's go. That's fighting super solid. Super solid little fight. This guy has a little more meat on him. fighter I guess if we could put a few of these in the cooler then we have some some ceviche right guys really have on them you know this guy's a little better
side of the island. on target right on target let's go that was still they're still popping off over there so let's let's get this guy off and send it back bro you got hooks from every Adding them up. Just adding them up. Let's go. Go. 
all the bait guys. Minnows. But our radar sees them. Look what it shows. That's a lot of bait. So guys, yo, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty dope. Chasing the bait and just casting at whatever was popping. Um, we were throwing our top water popper. You can see it right there. I think it's like a small profile. It's not too big. And uh, jacks are coming up and hitting them. So that was pretty dope, honestly. Today was me wanting to see how how inexpensive we can fish for. Obviously, outside of our already purchased gear, you know, we have a Hobie kayak, GPS, GoPros, all that good stuff. But when you're buying bait, and fuel, everything starts to add up. So it's pretty cool. I think today I've spent like. I spent like six or four dollars on a coffee and a bag of ice and then parking was six bucks 